Marlene Dietrich, a renowned figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the film industry. When reflecting on her impactful career, one might ponder which of her works holds a special place in their heart or which defines her career. As we explore Dietrich's journey, stay tuned for intriguing and diverse anecdotes funny, shocking, and poignant that will shed light on this iconic actor. Share your cherished memories or personal experiences in the comments below. There's much more to discover about this legendary Hollywood figure, so keep watching for the upcoming facts. Marlene Dietrich's filmography is a treasure trove of cinematic brilliance. For those new to her work, diving into must-watch movies is an excellent starting point. One standout project is The Blue Angel, a German classic that marked her international breakthrough. Dietrich's magnetic performance as Lola Lola is unforgettable, showcasing early allure and talent. Another gem in her repertoire is Morocco, an iconic collaboration with director Joseph von Sternberg. The film not only established her as a Hollywood sensation, but also earned an Academy Award nomination. The on-screen chemistry between Dietrich and co-star Gary Cooper adds an extra layer of allure to this cinematic masterpiece. As she continued her Hollywood journey, Shanghai Express became another pinnacle of her career. Directed by Von Sternberg, the film showcases Dietrich's ability to convey complex emotions and earned her a second Academy Award nomination. The movie's exotic setting and captivating plot make it a must-watch for any fan of classic cinema. For those intrigued by wartime dramas, The Stry Rides Again is a must-see. In this Western comedy, Dietrich shares the screen with James Stewart, delivering a performance that adds depth to her versatile filmography. The blend of humor and drama remains a testament to her acting prowess. Dishonored is another jewel in her cinematic crown, offering a spy thriller with her in the lead role. Directed by Von Sternberg, the film highlights her ability to navigate complex narratives with ease, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. In the realm of film noir, Touch of Evil stands out. While her role is a supporting one, her presence enhances the overall intrigue of the film. Directed by Orson Welles, this noir classic is a captivating addition to her extensive filmography. These movies represent just a fraction of Dietrich's cinematic legacy. Whether exploring her early German films or Hollywood classics, viewers are in for a journey through the captivating world of a true film icon. Marlene Dietrich, an enduring presence in classic Hollywood, faced not only the challenges of a dynamic film career, but also the unrelenting pressure to preserve her youthful image. In an industry fixated on ageless beauty, Dietrich grappled with societal expectations, navigating the delicate balance between staying relevant and embracing the inevitable passage of time. The entertainment landscape demanded perpetual youth, a demand that intensified as Dietrich aged gracefully. Despite her undeniable talent and on-screen charisma, the prevailing norms often overshadow what her accomplishments. The struggle to conform to these standards became a poignant chapter in her life as she sought to redefine the narratives surrounding aging actresses. Amidst this pressure, Dietrich's commitment to her craft remained unwavering. Her filmography, a testament to her resilience, showcased a spectrum of roles that defied conventional expectations. From the seductive Lola Lola in The Blue Angel to the enigmatic Shanghai Lily in Shanghai Express, Dietrich's performances transcended the superficial constraints of age, proving that talent knows no bounds. Dietrich's journey also unfolded against the backdrop of personal and societal challenges. The ever-changing dynamics of Hollywood, wartime dramas, and the intricacies of espionage in films like Dishonored added layers to her cinematic legacy. As she delved into genres like western comedy in Destry Rides Again and film noir in Touch of Evil, Dietrich showcased her versatility, further solidifying her place in the annals of film history. In the face of external pressures and internal battles, Marlene Dietrich's resilience and artistry prevailed. Her story is not just one of Hollywood stardom, but a narrative of defiance against the relentless pressure to conform to ageist expectations. Through her roles and choices, she shattered stereotypes, leaving an enduring mark on the cinematic landscape. In her final decade, Dietrich chose seclusion, residing in her Parisian apartment on Avenue Montaigne. Despite avoiding public appearances, she remained active through prolific letter writing and phone calls. In 1984, actor Maximilian Schell convinced her to participate in a documentary interview, though she opted to stay off screen. Her cinematic impact extended beyond mere recognition, 
Four of her films, namely Morocco, Destroy Rides Again, Touch of Evil, and Judgment at Nuremberg, earned a spot in the National Film Registry recognized for their cultural and historical significance. During the filming of Destroy Rides Again in 1938, an affair with James Stewart led to an unexpected event pregnancy. Despite this, she quietly underwent an abortion, a decision unknown to Stewart at the time. In her journey through classic Hollywood, resilience against societal pressures to conform to ageless beauty standards stood out. The industry's fixation on perpetual youth challenged her, but commitment to the craft prevailed. From the seductive Lola Lola in The Blue Angel to the enigmatic Shanghai Lily in Shanghai Express, performances transcended age-related constraints, proving that talent knows no bounds. The story unfolded against the backdrop of personal and societal challenges. The ever-changing dynamics of Hollywood, wartime dramas, and foray into genres like Western comedy in Destroy Rides Again and film noir in Touch of Evil showcased versatility, leaving an enduring mark on the cinematic landscape. Her legacy is not just one of Hollywood stardom, but a narrative of defiance against relentless ageist expectations. Through roles and choices, she shattered stereotypes, emphasizing that true artistry stands the test of time. Marlene Dietrich, an integral part of classic Hollywood, embraced her American citizenship on March 6, 1937. Beyond her cinematic achievements, she earned the U.S. War Department's Medal of Freedom in 1947 for entertaining American troops during World War II and boldly opposing Nazism. While renowned for on-screen prowess, Dietrich grappled with baslophobia, a fear of germs, throughout her life. This peculiar aspect of her personality added a layer of complexity to an otherwise dynamic persona. In later years, residing in seclusion on Avenue Montaigne in Paris, she maintained an active presence through extensive letter writing and phone calls. Despite avoiding public appearances, she agreed to a documentary interview in 1984, orchestrated by actor Maximilian Schell. Notably, she chose to remain off-screen, preserving the mystery surrounding her final decade. Her impact extended beyond her lifetime. Four of her films Morocco, Destroy Rides Again, Touch of Evil, and Judgment at Nuremberg found a place in the National Film Registry, acknowledging their cultural and historical significance. The influence, marked by resilience against societal pressures, remains evident in versatile performances that defied age-related constraints. The journey through classic Hollywood mirrored personal and societal challenges, from the ever-changing dynamics of the industry to wartime dramas and ventures into diverse genres like Western comedy and film noir, her versatility left an indelible mark. Through roles and choices, she shattered stereotypes, emphasizing that true artistry stands the test of time. In the face of external pressures and internal battles, resilience and artistry prevailed, creating a narrative of defiance against relentless ageist expectations. The story transcends Hollywood stardom, embodying the enduring spirit of a cinematic icon.